forever. Dog. I will um, look. Ashley, you tell us your updates. You said you had an update from last week. Well, you, you, you talked about your anxiety and how you yes. fixed it by not looking at your phone in the morning. And <laughs> I also have forever. problems. Um, Actually, I... Oh, I found the question. Ashley, you can <laughs> stop talking about your disability now. <laughs> Sorry, I was just going to try and inspire you guys, but you go ahead. <laughs> What do you guys think I'm at the desk? Yeah, you look like you're in like a an office. But okay, yeah, my camera's off. Office. My camera's off for you guys because I, <laughs> I got something. I got something that I I got something for you guys. For okay. you, Ashley, mostly. You blindfolding us right now is enough, honestly. But <laughs> go on. <laughs> Well, you're all blurry. Oh, 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 I love it. <laughs> Where did you get cats? that? It's an ode to the cat shirt era. Oh, very good. Very good, Elena. I'm proud of you. I don't have a cat shirt. I want one. Thank you. Okay, well, I, can I show you what I've got? Look at the grumpy one. I know. I just I love, love cats. the, the Guys, tones of it. One of my cats cut the other one's face by accident with a long nail. A scratch? I thought you were gonna say something way worse. I I was saw scared. when I when I saw it, I was like, I'm a bad mom. No, I was I I mom. like freaked out because it was a pretty bad cut, and I I guess that happens. But like, I felt so sad. I felt like you're being I was gonna so barf. cute right now. I was oh. just like, my son, my poor son, he's Is gonna he have okay? a scar on his face. He's, Is he gonna have a scar? I don't know, but he's so handsome, and I feel oh. sad. <laughs> Tell him we love his scar. Sweet I, boy. I, I love, love him it. so much. He's so sweet. He doesn't deserve a scar. No, he's a distinguished young gentleman. Yeah. Yeah. He's a prince. <laughs> and he doesn't deserve a scar. I love him so much. He's so Aww. sweet. Everyone has scars. And then I was like, this is going to, it was like open. <laughs> and like, I could tell it had been bleeding. And I was like, oh my God. So I got a soapy little wipe and I like yeah. went to tap him. And I'm like, he's going to be so upset. And then it was worse because he was so calm about it. He just <laughs> let me clean him. Like a, like the <laughs> sweet little boy he is. He just let he me do gonna it. He's going to persevere. He's going to come out of this stronger than before. He's going to be an inspiration. I was, was really, going to say, he is an inspiration. <laughs> he is an inspiration inspiration to me <laughs> he's an inspiration but guys look what sydney left on my desk homosexuality is not a crime the pope, <laughs> pope said so i saw that <laughs> wow i'll take that, it breaking news big. i'll take Honestly. that family catholic or are they something weirder mac my extended family's catholic and then my mom and dad when they like moved away from my extended family became christian Ooh. Yeah, it's how weird how like Catholicism is technically the one that's like really like more orthodox in a way because like the church, the mass is so long and there's so many costume changes. <laughs> but for some reason, they seem to be more tolerant. I don't really know any. This is not my forte. The last time I was at a Catholic event, I bit a pastor's finger. Why was mouth. his finger in your mouth? It was at a wedding. We were doing communion, and I bit his finger. And I watched his eyes. Did yeah, you bite it on purpose? No, 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 no. I've done many a communion in my life, and no one has ever put their finger in my mouth. Okay, listen. Listener, put your Everyone in front in of me mouth. was doing it, and I was, Why? like, trying to be respectful. I was like, they already know I'm, like, the gay cousin. They probably <laughs> think I'm going to fucking ambush this ceremony. No, no, I'm, like, really, I'm genuinely asking, what position was his hand in your mouth? Just so like, we can replicate it in our personal lives if needed. Yeah, you know, it's for, like, a role play thing. Yeah. <laughs> See, they Why don't put it. In, so they don't deep? put your. Fi That's what I mean. Why was his finger so deep in your mouth? They shouldn't be past your teeth. They shouldn't be past your teeth, Mac. I thought the whole thing is that you kind of go. <laughs> like, I thought that was the whole yeah. thing. Uh, maybe, like, yeah. Maybe, maybe it was my fault. Yeah, if you had just opened your <laughs> mouth and took drew it. Drew his fingers into you your just, mouth. If you just like relaxed your jaw a little bit, God, it would have been Mac. either easier for him. Yeah. Never for a man. <laughs> Cross his arms. <laughs> <laughs> and not just in a vibe way. 
No. <laughs> we are not vibing. Personal updates on the Chosen yeah. Family Podcast. Yeah. Welcome to the Chosen oh, Family yeah. Hi, Podcast. Oh, yeah. Hi, everybody. Welcome You here. are our chosen family because you're gay and you don't have a family. Well, <laughs> so we're your family. I'm Last Ashley week, Gavin. You're a bad and every this week, week and I'm your problem. daddy, and I'm not doing this in order. And every week, we gather around the family dinner table and we answer your questions and we take you in as our own. And mm-hmm. I'm your dad, Ashley I'm your Gavin. Mom. I'm mommy, Elena Joy. I'm hot teenage brother, Mac baby. Inja me. Baby. baby. Mac Inja baby. Thank you for being here. This podcast is supported by a Patreon, patreon.com slash chosen family podcast. Mm-hmm. Yada, yada. Bonus. We're going to put blah, bonus blah. episodes why, up on why there. do so many straight people listen to this podcast? Question. Genuine no, question. What? Are you serious? How many straight people no. do you think are listening? Where are you getting that Okay, from? I'm serious because my girlfriend has told me that her very straight friends listen to it. That's and my sister... It's you. it's you. My sister just told me today that people from our hometown that are very straight listen to it. And like reach out you. to her. Because it's you from home, it's your you. hometown. No, but not like... Not like people listen. love a hometown favorite. They They're, would like... No, no. That's not a thing. You're a hometown hero. Right, writer, listen. Not in my town. <laughs> not in my town. Writer. <laughs> writer, do you have writer, ears? Tell us about in. your ears and how you listen, writer. <laughs> no, listener, write in. Are you straight? <laughs> I really would like to know. If you're a straight person, why do you listen to this podcast? Maybe they're, maybe they're learning. That's not a question that we got in the Discord, in our private Discord that's only available to our patrons. Um, somebody Damn. asked... Ooh. You guys are so smooth with the plug. I will um, look. Ashley, you tell us your updates. You said you had an update from last week. Well, you you talked about your anxiety and how you fixed it by not looking at your phone in the morning. And (laughs) And I also have problems. Um, Actually, I... Oh, I found the question. Ashley, you can (laughs) stop talking about your disability now. (laughs) Sorry, I was just going to try and inspire you guys, but you go ahead. No, I actually would like to take some more space um, for my able-bodied discussions about yeah. how able-bodied I am. Yeah. Um, and that includes straight people, the most able-bodied <laughs> of all people. Because being gay is a disability and it's inspiring. And it's inspiring. <laughs> oh, being gay is a disability. I have a joke about that, actually. Oh, and you can. And you can. <laughs> I okay. wrote it before I... All right. Well, anyway, go on. <laughs> Oh, see, now I'm like, I feel like we're getting too comfy in terms of like, now nah, people are going to not, not understand that we're joking. No, they know. They know. I, I mean, like, I'm always joking. That's just, uh, yeah, I'm always joking. Yeah, that's true. Like, no, this whole gay sorry. thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's a bit. It's a bit that I'm doing for my career, clearly. <laughs> you guys think this is serious? You guys are fucking stupid. What? <laughs> Ashley said, how can I get ahead? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what America mm-hmm. wants? Mm-hmm. More drag queens and gay people. They have made that very clear. Yeah, you're making this easier for yourself. Mm-hmm. Um, no, it's someone asked in the Discord, what's your recommendation for trying to help a parent who says that they want to be more supportive, better understand um, the difference between gender, sexuality, and sexual orientation? I think that that question kind of speaks to why some straight people might listen to this show to learn. Yes, they're they're learning about a a, a community. I have a fair amount of parents who listen to the other podcasts that shan't be named. We're having gay sex, (laughs) and (laughs) hey, you know where I got the inspo for this shirt? One of my patrons on my private Patreon that's just for me. No good. Patreon.com. You, You, Elena, nothing gets me wetter than self promotion. Just in a, that case, I if you want to see me channel, take my shirt off, then go on my TikTok account. I always have my shirt off. Go watch, like. Sub- I almost said subscribe. <laughs> go you want to see me keep my shirt on? I shower with it on, so it's easy. <laughs> I have my shirt on at all times. <laughs> no, but one of my patrons um, was wearing this shirt in one of our calls and I was like I need that where did you get it oh I, I would assume that was thrifted and that's no, what not, I would have guessed too. I, that's in that's being made in a factory somewhere yeah so I you're saying we can all match full you're price. saying that all three I of us can that own that cat that's exactly and what we I'm have saying. to put a and we could wear it at the same time faces 
Oh, my little boy. Right here. I'm so sad about my cat Scar. No, he's okay. He's an inspiration. He's um, a- <laughs> Guys, all right. I feel like I'm going to get flamed. <laughs> we're all going to get flamed. And we're already flaming. It's all bits. So it's fine. It's all a bit. Okay. No, I do think that straight people would listen to this to, I don't know, to learn. To learn, and it's funny. Sometimes I listen to yeah. Call Her Daddy, so I guess I get it. Yeah, exactly. it's just good old-fashioned entertainment. First of all, thank you all for your really kind notes. Mm. They were very kind. Okay. You're fucking supportive, nice, <laughs> good people. Little bottom bitches. You are just, you all bottom for me so fucking hard. You were sending me those notes and I was like, okay, you guys are obsessed with me. <laughs> hey, okay. <laughs> you guys are obsessed with me. Why are you guys like so obsessed with my joints? <laughs> it's crazy. Why do you guys keep telling me about Why me? do you get like a surfer accent when you, <laughs> when you talk about Why this? are you guys like... So Thank you guys so much for supporting me. So it's crazy. So it's really crazy to wake up to. <laughs> <laughs> the feeling of feeling small, like with the ocean, like standing next to the ocean, like feeling so small. That's how I felt like compared to all these notes that were just flooding, like crashing waves into my DMs. Why are you guys so obsessed with this? this I'm clearly deflecting. I'm, this is clearly so hard for me. And I enabling cannot, it so I cannot hard. do it seriously. Well, anyway, you guys were like sliding in like crazy and it was nuts and very supportive. And, uh, and how are you doing now? Well, I think the support was good. But I think the more important thing is that I obviously, and I wrote some stand-up about it, which was, mm-hmm. I think, even more important. For me to stand yeah. up in front of a group <laughs> and to mine your and personal make trauma jokes about for content my trauma <laughs> and yep. pain. Um, and if you missed that episode, fuck off. You don't support me. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> you could you could have made that a little bit more delicate. Maybe no, 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 fuck no, no, off. No, fuck off. You didn't support me. Uh, fuck off. <laughs> there you go. No, no, no. I, I, I just talked about having. Um, these hypermobility issues and EDS and, and, and how it was mostly affecting my sleep. So I don't know. There was just something about cathartic about the process of telling everybody thousands and thousands of people mm. um, that made it was like, that made it more serious. And look, it's, it really sucks to have to come out w- uh, as with, with this. Cause it does feel a little bit like coming out. The joke that I actually wrote mm-hmm. was like, there were two jokes. One was about getting high for the first time and only time I have not gotten high since. I'm very thankful that that doesn't have to be a part of what I'm doing for my pain regiment uh, because I did not mm-hmm. like it. Uh, and if it works for you, that's great. But a lot of doctors messaged me and were like, of course, whatever. Okay. There's, it doesn't, <laughs> you can't just do an edible. That's not how it works. Right. Um, you but, can just stop looking at your phone for 30 minutes in the morning. Yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> and you are the biggest inspiration to us all. I actually do the same thing. I don't, well, I don't bring my phone you. in my bedroom. But uh, I play Heyday for two hours every morning when I wake up. What's Heyday? Go ahead. A farming simulator? It's a farming mark? simulator. Obviously. It's like my dream life. Basically. Gen Z makes fun of millennials, but you <laughs> have another iteration of Farmville. I just want to put... You didn't learn Farmville. that from us? Not to play Farmville? Uh, it's a farming simulator? <laughs> 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 this can't be a theme. You had to leave that in the last episode, Elena. <laughs> no, absolutely it. not. This is so hot. I'm sweating. I might have to take it off. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, take off your shirt, Elena. That's fine. You I find it triggering, honestly. Nightmares. I cannot stop. Every time I look, I see the scar across my cat's face. Oh, yeah. We can't have that. <laughs> Should I finish my sentence at least? Or are you going to interrupt a disabled woman? <laughs> <laughs> This is also my new favorite bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, I love centering myself in yes, your yes, conversations yes. around. My narrative is the narrative. It feels so mm-hmm. good to like have another. Oh, hi, Fulty. Fulty. Is he the one that got scratched? Or yeah. Come on up. Oh, let's see him. Usually he jumps up on the desk, so he'll probably be up here in a second. Oh. Although he's. He hasn't been the same since the scar. He hasn't been the same. <laughs> I don't know. If, I don't know if we can joke about it, Mac. I don't know. If <laughs> Sorry, about no. it yet. <laughs> I have a disability, and my cat has a disability. <laughs> oh my god! I have anxiety. <laughs> my cat used to have anxiety. Maybe it's a. This is like a thing. Anyway, but it's talking about it was really helpful, and I think it helped me internalize 
that it was real oh, and that yeah. I didn't have to, not that it wasn't real. It was always real, but there's always this level of like, well, can I just push through it? Can mm -hmm. I just have, especially when it's something that you have recently acquired and you're literally grieving your own, because a part of this is grieving. Mm -hmm. Like I'm, there are things that I have to be just really conscientious of and thoughtful about. And um, so I think I w was just grieving a little bit. Mm -hmm. And so I, I found a regiment that works really, really well for me. I'm exercise. I'm back to exercising five times a week in the in the way that I can. So mm -hmm. I've got the endorphins back in my body, which is super good for me. And I since the past two nights have been sort of rough because my thumb started flaring. <laughs> my oh. but I have but I have my um my hip really under control, and um I I had a solid. I think really only the last two nights in the past a little over a month, five weeks, I've slept almost every single night through the night. Um, so I'm just feeling awesome. way more myself, uh, and I'm just feeling really good. And I am an inspiration to a lot of people. <laughs> and so, yeah, I feel really good. I mean, like I have it really lucky, I think compared to a lot of people, but I think mm -hmm. a big part of it was just being like, this is not fair. Other people don't have to go through this. It fucking sucks. But what do you want to do? Do you, do you want it to manage it or do you want to try and white knuckle through and pretend that this isn't a problem when it's clearly killing you? Yeah. So I think that was part of it. I have a really good pain management plan and I have a great new doctor and we're going to be doing even more treatments to try and get more, even more sustainable kind of management. But yeah, dude, I am, I am like, a, I guess a proudly disabled person because now, like if I'm in public and my hip starts to hurt me, I lube the fuck up right there with all my creams. Like, I do not yes. care who sees it. It is mm -hmm. not embarrassing. If you're going to be uncomfortable, I'm going to mm -hmm. stare at you while I stick my hand down my goddamn pants and lube up my hip. Because, yep. like, I just have no shame in it anymore. Because it's like, well, I have there to do should, it. Like, there isn't. What's right. the shame? Yeah. Like, the exactly. shame is, is I didn't from even know that people. was a thing that would be... Why, why is... Creaming Loop? yourself in public. Never heard of it. Negative. Creaming your, don't say creaming yourself But you know what I mean? It is, it does habit. like, it is annoying that every, however many hours I might have to step away, go to the bathroom and lube up. I have to, yeah. I have to make sure I have everything. There's just amount of preparation that goes into it. Like I have to have every type of pill, mm -hmm. every type of cream. I need to be aware of my posture. I need to be aware of how my leg is sitting like all mm -hmm. the time. And it was just something that I had to like, be like, this is a part of your life. This yeah. is mm -hmm. a part of your this life. Your you just reality. have to accept it and, mm -hmm. and get used to it. Mm -hmm. So it's been super, it's been great. The past few weeks have been really good. And I thank you guys for making space for me to cry on camera. And, and, I, and I really do credit you guys for oh, my no, feeling a little do... bit better. Okay. You're well. an inspiration to me in the way that you... God, Ashley, why are you so obsessed with us? I'm, I'm just... Aww. I'm so obsessed with you guys. Why are you so obsessed with Did I go with on Ashley? for too long? I feel like I really not at all. No, no you say that every time. Shut guys, the no. fuck up. The thing is that you keep telling me a disabled woman to keep my mouth shut. And I just, I think that I get like, a little bit. <laughs> it's really good to hear that you're doing better, Ashley. Yeah. yeah and, 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 you know, my thumb, my thumb had a flare a few years ago before I knew what this was. Mm -hmm, and yeah. I, I remember I went into this doctor and he was like, you're really young to be having this. And I was like, okay. He was like, yeah, you're like, you okay, might need to replace I'm it. What's that? You're like, okay, yeah, but I'm having it. Yeah, so exactly. What? Well, he was a, he was perfectly nice. I just think he was like, he didn't know what was going on. I didn't know what was going on. So we were both like, why do I have chronic mm. tendonitis in my fucking thumb? Mm -hmm. Right. And he gave me a steroid shot and I felt better. Mm -hmm. And I didn't think about it until a few weeks ago when I was like, that was the fucking, that was it. That was one of the many signs that I had this. And uh, I'm it. it's flaring up again. And I was just like, I, I can have a sense of humor about it now because I've got the, I figured out how to manage the hip. Yes. So now rather than, sure, it sucks that my thumb is hurting me, but it's also like, it's now like in my mind, it's sort of like, ah, well, yeah, if you're going to try and kill me, body, I'm going to try and kill you back. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, <laughs> well, I can yeah, have a better yes. sense of humor about it now that I've yeah, yeah. found some relief, mm -hmm. you know? Well, and I'm sure mm -hmm. there's a there's a sense, maybe, there's a sense of control that wasn't there before. Totally. You're like, ah, now I know what this is. Yes. So even if it sucks, 
we can kind of laugh about it. We can keep it light to a point when you can. Yeah. Because it's like, oh, it's (laughs) how ridiculous. Yeah. You know, that. Mm -hmm. And I have doctors that like I can call and I don't have any fear in being like, hey, I need a prescription for an MRI. So that it's a pain in the ass that I'm constantly in these appointments. But at least I don't have to go through the process of being like, yeah, being told that this isn't real or it's strange and doing testing and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can come to my gym with me when you come to Missouri. Um, I do. I'm a big Pelotoner. That's like my thing. Oh, my God. Mattia's going to shit herself. You're going to go to her apartment. (laughs) She has a Peloton. Oh, can I use it? You can absolutely use it and hang out with her cat. That's awesome. There you go. She loves her Peloton. Her cat doesn't have a scar, but she's cross-eyed. Oh, no. (laughs) (laughs) Gotta have something wrong with it. No. (laughs) She winks a lot. (laughs) Oh. <laughs> no. Where's Fulton? How's his face look? Does his face look okay? And Sydney's done with my bullshit. I can tell. <laughs> she's had enough of me today. We've been doing, but we had a meeting this morning with another. We, she, I've been doing bits all morning, and she's like, I've had enough with the bits. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> all right, that's my um, life update. It took like twenty five minutes. So, oh, this is totally unrelated. But just looking at my notes, I have. I make a little chosen family note on my phone, and then I me like too. stuff in there whenever I think of it. Um, so you know, like the, the whole pinning thing, Mac, like who could pin who? Yes. And how it's gotten out of hand. Like, <laughs> I know. It's but ridiculous. It's like how, how are we going to actually. Oh, did you see someone wrote that I should be the referee? Not the referee. The <gasps> referee. Oh, absolutely. See that, but that I'm the so referee. Whistle. But so it's like, how could we do this in a way that's not just completely inappropriate? Like where we're actually just trying to pin each other down because we can't Arm actually wrestle. do that, obviously. My girlfriend came up with the idea, a series of strength tests. Let's do it. So, like, next time like, we're all three in person. Like, Festivus? What's, like, what's that? Of I don't know what that is. From Seinfeld? Oh, millennial listeners write in. This is a shame. <laughs> a Festivus for the rest of us. Why don't okay, I know so that quote, but I don't know what an arm is. wrestle? Yeah, like an arm wrestle. Uh, uh, who can hang for longer? Who can, oh, that'll be interesting. Okay. I don't know. Just whatever kind I of strength I want you guys things. to attach strings to your fingers and lift weights. There we go. We can do that. We'll have to blur it. Yeah. We will. That's Patreon only. It won't be blurred (laughs) on the Patreon. (laughs) That's great. This is like a, this is a very random story. It has nothing. This is not an update. This is just a story I remembered the other day from high school. Okay. Okay. It's about allies. So my best, my closest friend in high school, very, very strong ally. When I came out, she was like really excited. She was like, I don't care at all. Like blah, blah, blah. Such an ally. (laughs) Fuck me. <laughs> Try take two, but in a man's voice. I'm an ally. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> I'm an ally. What do you want me to do? Like just like a I'm an ally. I'm an ally. <laughs> Gross. She was like, I'm an ally. Okay. You really okay. would rather that than I'm no. an ally? Okay. Oh, maybe. Anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't like I, that voice. Yeah, I don't think I like it either. Listen, son, you're a boy. I'm an ally you speak with a boy voice. Okay, <laughs> you are our son. What? How am I supposed to describe other people? Just talk like nor- like nothing talk. can contaminate okay. your masculinity. Your masculinity must be in peak form at all times. Mm-hmm. That's a top priority, utmost importance. It is a top priority. Um. Okay, so. She didn't care at all when I came out. She was very supportive. She would go to great lengths to show me how supportive she was. Oh, no. Okay. Lengths? No, no. I don't think anyone's friends went to. Would you say it's to. about as long as a... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> strap on. What? Nope. I wasn't strapping no. in, in the night. <laughs> Before she would hook up with a guy and she would shave, right? Yeah. yeah. Mac is pointing. She would downwards. explain to me how how soft it was after she shaved. She did such a good job. It was so soft. Like you wouldn't, she's okay. like, oh my God, you wouldn't believe how soft, how well I shaved this time. Sure. I, and I'm like uncomfortable. I'm like, okay, Dude, cool. I'm a, girl, a lesbian. Like, If a girl yeah. said this to me in high school, I would literally be like, okay, I guess I should, oh, what do you, yeah. you want to touch it? <laughs> I think I was probably more like, Nice. Like, 
<laughs> like just trying not to trying not to make it gay like i don't want her to yeah. think that i like her yeah she's the um, one making it gay but you're like don't let me make it gay i know but i'm like can you stop doing this because this will make it gay because i'm gay and you're being gay <laughs> she's yes. like i'm such an ally i'm gonna actually talk dirty to you right now and i'm not <laughs> even affected by it because i know that being gay, like you're not attracted to all women, like it shouldn't affect our friendship. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I'm just gonna tell you how soft and wet my pussy is. Okay. And, and <laughs> I know what. It's a bit. We're talking, about, we're talking about high schoolers. I'm not talking about a high schooler. I'm talking about the hypothetical idea of someone being such an ally that they Would start you stop tardy talking. About talking. How wet high schoolers are, <laughs> Ashley. Okay, so she's explaining that to me, and I'm like trying to. I'm just like, okay, cool, I get it. And she's like. Well, I don't care that you're gay. Like, you should just feel it. What? I literally... Okay, so Max allowed to tell this? I say it as a this funny happened bit. This happened to me. This happened, yes, this happened to me. And I'm this saying happened hypo- to Max. And I made it up as a hypothetical situation for the high schoolers, not for me. I don't even know high schoolers. I'm not allowed within 100 feet of them. <laughs> That was a sick joke that I just made. That, that was, was such so a good. sick fucking that was joke. so good. That was excellent. <laughs> but don't um, write into me because I'm not allowed to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're wondering if this is a joke, you'll never know. <laughs> Why don't we meet up and you can ask me in person? <laughs> if I'm not there, then guess what? You got your answer. <laughs> Actually... Actually, Actually, according to the law, I love Ashley that you don't even know the meme, and you've picked up the mo. You've picked it up so well. Oh, my hair looks. Look how hot I look. My hair. Meow. Looks good. Ew. <laughs> Sorry, we've been talking about cats a lot. It just- so your best friend in high school, who's such a good ally, wanted you to touch her. Mound. Well, she was Mound. like, she was like, I don't care that you're gay. Like, it doesn't matter. Just like, feel how soft it is. Like, I don't this care. This is so. And funny. I was like, I was this like, we don't thing. have to do this. Like, yeah. you don't have to do this. I know you're not homophobic. <laughs> Straight people, <laughs> you don't, you don't to have to this. let your lesbian friends touch your mm, to prove that you're not homophobic. I actually disagree. Straight there are other people, things. <laughs> please prove to me that you're not homophobic by letting me touch your vagina. <laughs> This is the gay agenda. This is what the Republicans are afraid of, Ashley. They're if they're offering it up, I'm not going to turn it down. They are offering. And if they're not, hate crime. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so did you touch it? She was like, no. Like she was just trying to show me that she didn't care that I was gay. It didn't affect our friendship. Like yeah. we were still just as close, even though. She's like, all I, my other we straight girlfriends really are touching, touching it. Before. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, oh, tell me about that. That's so interesting. Do you have it on camera? <laughs> um, I, I did touch it. Uh-huh. Barely. Like, as little as I possibly could. Like, as she little as took- you could? <laughs> I was, like, embarrassed. What does that, I was, mean? Like, does that just mean, like, like one just, pinky? Like, like one, like I think top? it was, like, this, and I just, like, a full put hand. my hand out, and she just, like, grabbed my hand and, like... You, you cupped it? Put it a little bit. Like a- no, 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 no. No cup. No cup. <laughs> That's not kind of Trumpy. No cup. No. <laughs> no cup. It was, like, this, and then just, like, the very... Right before cup. Like, pre-cup. So, like, your f- finger length? just about Aww. finger length and i like touched it and i was like that's so soft and then i just were you hitting labia no 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 lay bro no lay so just <laughs> this is me talking to my my guy friends about it after no bro you wouldn't have believed it no lab but like <laughs> i wish i wish it was, it was crazy though <laughs> so that actually did happen to me um and everything was normal after that and you're a predator. And then for she stopped asking. Because the thing is that she <laughs> just offered up nicely. She, she proved to herself in that times. moment. She, yeah, she, in her mind, she was like, could I be homophobic? No, yeah. let me have my lesbian friend touch me. Did her, did you, did you make eye contact with her? Did her pupils dilate? Oh, no. I was, I turned. <laughs> Listener, I'm, I'm turned around and my hand is stretched out. Bro, yeah. I would have died. It was this a weird is, experience. A was she cute? Yeah. She's gorgeous. She's like one of the most beautiful women ever, but she's not my type. I was like, 
I don't like you this way. You don't have to prove this to me. But I understand that you just want to show me that you, you don't care that I'm a lesbian. Ally out of all of our friends, you're, you she are. is the top you ally. You are the number one. Really, ally. you're the ally. You're like I let this. <laughs> yes. I let this straight girl to the pride parade. <laughs> that is wild. So, so that's my story. That wow. happened. Um, wild story. Should we take questions? Wow. Yeah. I feel like I'm still taking that in. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking a lot in. There wasn't a lot of foreplay, so it's, you know, a little harder Oof. to... I'm sorry. Okay. No one likes my jokes today. Um, No, I. you know what, Ashley? You know what I actually think it is? Is like you're... Maybe because you're recording audio separately, the audio that we're hearing from you is not as clear and loud as oh, what really? I'm hearing from... Because we, we're not hearing through the mic. Well, thank you for saying that, because I just thought you guys weren't laughing at my jokes about high schoolers. <laughs> no, I I love comedians. I we I'm one of the best allies to comedians you'll ever meet. <laughs> you want to give me your hand? <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't believe how soft I am for comedians. <laughs> That's so good. That was. This is maybe the best joke we've ever done on the vibe. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> All right. Do you guys okay. think I'm a uh, hey mamas? Sorry? No. Do I dress like question? that? <clears throat> no, you you have oh. like a street style. Thank you. You do okay. not you do not look like a hey mamas. <clears throat> you look you look like like uh hey girl, I will pay for your dinner. Like we'll go to a nice restaurant, I'll mm -hmm. pay for it. Oh, that's, that's pretty the vibe cool. You give me. This white hair. Listener, right in. We can't in. see it. We can't see your white hair. Listener, right in. Is it kind of sexy or is it should I die? Though? Oh my god! Wait, I see it. Yeah, I see it. And that's saying something when the camera quality for us is this bad. Okay. No, no, no! I, I love it. I love it in a good way. I, I have three. Gray hairs. I, I have yeah, gray hairs I, coming in left, right, and center. I'm you excited to go gray. I think it's gonna be really sexy. Yeah, me too. I love a gray. You're saying anyway. that now. Wait till it starts happening. It is happening. <laughs> okay. No, no, because everyone has a couple gray hairs, and then you start getting more. First, your you know what actually happens? Your pubes start getting lighter. Sorry, Sydney. Your pubes really? start getting lighter before the gray hairs. Um. Yeah. Yeah. That's not Why? happening to me. I've just got grays popping in left, right, and center, but nothing. You should check downstairs to see if you're lightening up. How about I get my straight friends to check? You see should. If they're really good allies. If they're really, if they're actually straight, they won't. I mind look at normal. All. I think I look the same oh, as Max. Mac, you can't right do now. that. <laughs> All right, Max looking let's take right a now. question from our, should we go to Instagram or should we go to Patreon? Oh, we got a couple more on Patreon here. Let's go let's into do the Patreon. patrons. Patreon.com slash Chosen Family Podcast. There it is. Come into our private Discord. This is where your questions get priority. We're also posting bonus episodes. Yes. So if you want to hear more of this, <laughs> yeah, 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 happening here. Maybe not this exactly, but you know, <laughs> similar. Um, okay, so do you guys want a question on something light, like TV shows, uh, first-time sex advice, or uh, getting back out there in terms of dating? I've got three good ones, but just tell me the vibe you want, and I'll read it to you. TV show. Really? I don't know. Nobody wow, Elena, no saying anything. Right? <laughs> Elena just saw your suggestion and was like, nah. I'm going to swat this one to the ground. <laughs> Elena Lynn's was like, like absolutely oh not. You know what I'm the worst for, which like I hate myself for it. I'm, they, But it keeps happening and I don't know why I keep doing it. This? I'm the person that asks the server for what their favorite thing is and then I don't pick it. Yeah, that's yeah, some that's fucked what do you, up. Elena. What do you, wait, I like don't when understand. you're looking at a menu and I'm like, oh, I can't decide what starter I want. What's your favorite oh. one? And then they go, oh, this one's really good, but I, it's not the one I actually wanted. So then I have to order something else. And it's like, why did I even ask? Yeah, you wasted. I will say, time. Elena, when we went to brunch with yeah. with main babes to the really nice brunch place, and then you paid for it. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> yeah, I remember. <laughs> I didn't even remember that. I did because I was like, holy shit. Wow. Thanks, Ashley. Well, I'm daddy. I'm doing well for myself. I know. this. Is, that I literally was thinking about that moment when I was just saying you're not a hey mama's lesbian. Uh, oh, oh. Well, thank you. I, I we were, okay, everyone listening. Literally, we went to brunch, right? Look Me, sickly. Ashley, main babes. It was like a nice brunch place where you ordered like single things off the menu. It's kind of tapas style. Yeah. 
and Top i'm bus. vegan right so i was gonna get like one or two things ashley was literally oh. just like oh let's get all the vegan things get, yeah pick whatever oh yeah let's get them all doesn't matter this is sort let's of get, my let's thing get all of them and we ordered like this plethora of food expensive food and it was delicious and i don't drink and actually i don't smoke it. i don't partake in a lot of things if I go to a restaurant and I think all the food is going to be really good, I'm going to over order and bring it home and eat it, you know. It wasn't that I felt like we were over ordering. It was more that I felt like I was being spoiled. I Ooh. liked it. I, I like doing that. I felt it. I like making people feel special. I felt special. I did. That's cute. good. You know what you did that main main and I still joke about main babes and I still main main is for her having gay sex main babes is for chosen family okay you know what main babes and I joke about no. Elena at the table sincerely goes well what do you two love about each other <laughs> <laughs> and it took me so off guard I was like ha ha and then you were like tell me what you love about each other and i was like oh this is a serious inquiry <laughs> that's like exactly what you would expect from an experience with elena <laughs> she legit was like tell me about why you love each other and honestly i was so embarrassed because like i had thoroughly this was in the middle of the pain this is in the middle of like mm. one of the hardest points in my life like mm -hmm. i had embarrassed myself so hard in front of elena previously no yes it was so humiliating, Elena. It was truly like Wait, humiliating. Why? Or do you know? We're what not going to get to a question, but <laughs> no. One this of is my, just us talking this whole time. I had a big fan come to the show, and I was, uh, and I want to say to this person if they're listening, like I am so grateful. They were also high out of their mind. Yeah. I can never tell when people are high, and I have a big thing. And other comedians will tell you that they have this. If if a show goes poorly, I don't need people to be like, "You did really well." I don't need mm -hmm. that. I don't. Mm -hmm. I have performed thousands and thousands and thousands of times literally i know how it's supposed to go and how it can go and so this mm -hmm. this 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 poor girl oh no this poor girl is how high out of her mind comes up to me and is mm -hmm. like my friend saw you in new york and hated it but i thought you were great and i was like yeah. i was like what to be fair to myself not exactly something that you should say say to a stranger no. but to be fair to the girl She's high out of her mind, and I am a public figure. So mm -hmm. there and is. She's nervous. And she's nervous. Mm -hmm. There and the, and I want to say, like, I know this is not going to be relevant to any of you. Getting used to people speaking to me like I'm not a human being, the way that they talk to other people, mm -hmm. has been a steep learning curve for me. Steep, because I have no filter. Mm -hmm. I'm just authentically who I am all the time. So this girl says to me that, and I said, I was like, you should not talk to that, say that to anybody ever again. Like That's I was, literally what Ashley said. That's I, what she I said. literally was like, <laughs> don't say that to people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I immediately regretted it because this girl is high out of her mind. I don't know. And she started to cry. Yeah. And I was able to f track her down and like fix the situation. I felt awful. I felt, I felt awful. The I, two of you talked, you hugged, like, it was Yeah, okay. but it did happen in front of Elena, who is the kindest, most patient human being on the planet. And I had never met Elena in person before, so I was so embarrassed. I was just so embarrassed. I don't know. Like, I'm having trouble not seeing the flip side of that because I get really frustrated when people, like, say things to me because they don't think there's a consequence to saying, like, rude things or just, like, out-of-pocket yeah. things because you Bro, she she have a fall so high. She was that's she so was that really rubs me the something. wrong way. Like I get it, but Rude. like No, no. I I this girl, if you're listening to this, you get free tickets for the rest of your life. I am so sorry. <laughs> she like, genuinely I think she really in her high mind like meant it as a compliment. Like she was trying to say I also oh, don't even think my it was friend said true. It, what yeah, I think she knows? like clarified it to me. I think she was just high and misspoke. Like I I yeah. So I have learned to be better about how to behave when people come up to me. If you it's if you've come weird. up to me the and things that people say when they come up to you in public and like people say weird stuff that you're like why are you tell like, because why are they're you ner that? they're nervous and you don't you're you're you so you're like why would you be nervous I'm just me mm. you know what I mean mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so now I've had to I've had to learn how to um you know be better 
about how I take it with a grain of salt. Yeah. Well, I worry about what people are going to say about me because they have an expectation of what the interaction is going to be. And am I living up to the expectation? Yeah. You know, Mm -hmm. I think that's the I think that's probably the common thread. No matter what I'm tired. Yeah. Like a lot of times, even even though I've been so public about the EDS and the and the my joint pain, like people still like if I'm sitting down on a stool, people will be like, "Why are you sitting?" And I was like, "Oh, I have a chronic pain issue." Like, what the fuck am hey, I? Hey, I'm sorry to-, to interrupt you, but you just did the fucking voice, so I don't want to hear that shit ever again. <laughs> okay, first of all, ableist, just cause. <laughs> Second of all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you're right i did the voice but also like people all like make jokes about the pain yeah and then people will still be like i know you're tired and in pain but can we take a photo <laughs> and i'm like yeah i guess <laughs> i guess let's do the, the question about yeah, tv series but what i love about main but did i give you i felt like a little did i give you a proper answer about why i love main babes yeah you there was a bit of it, it took a bit to get there but we did we did talk oh, about, I don't remember we, what you guys said, but you both did say. <laughs> she went first. Well, we joke. We joke about it. We joke about it. I'll say to her, I'll be like, why do you love me? <laughs> <laughs> That's the same as if, would you love me if I was a worm? <laughs> Have you heard that? <laughs> but, but, but Elaine, I want to make clear that we're not making fun of you. You're like, we, we both left it being like. She's the nicest person on the planet. <laughs> you can make fun of me if you No, want we to. both that's were fine. like, there is no one kinder on this planet than Elena okay. Joy. <laughs> that's not true. But No, no, it's but true. Thank you. It's true. Mac, you can fuck off. I'm not known for being kind. I'm known for my good looks. Being hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the abs. Um, okay, have you seen any lesbian TV series or movies which actually has a happy ending? Basically, um, I would like to see one that doesn't traumatize me. It's always one goes back to the man, one dies, or the couple has Uh, a minute to shine to never then be seen again. Thoughts? I think, uh, isn't there one that, very old. Sex Education. Sex Education? So good. Have you guys seen that? I have not, but I've heard (gasps) really good things about it. I've heard, I think (sighs) I've heard good things too. Yeah, it's a series. What about But I'm a Cheerleader? What happens at the end of that? Oh, you're Um, right. Yeah, that one's i don't get the hype around that one i guess what? because it, it was one of the first it was one of the it was a yeah. long ass time ago dude like yeah. it was a big deal what about the favorite. one there's one where this woman's getting married to a man oh. imagine me and you piper parable yeah, oh my that god one's i used to have the fattest crush on piper parable that one's good wait i don't know that i even know what the name of it imagine me and imagine you. me yeah. and you. okay when i so when i was still engaged and <laughs> I was dating a queer person because we had like an open relationship, right? Mm-hmm. So I was dating this queer person. I was kind of, we were talking about how I really hadn't seen a lot of queer media because I had mm-hmm. like avoided it my whole life. And we were going through recommendations, talking about movies that I should watch. And we're going through trying to pick what movie. <laughs> and they were like, imagine me and you. Oh, that one's really good. Uh, maybe let's not watch that one. And I was like, mm, Okay. <laughs> And then we didn't. And then after everything happened. I just got it. Yeah. After everything happened, we were having some other conversation and they were like, yeah, remember Imagine Me and You? This is why I didn't think we should watch it. And I went and watched it and I was like, oh, good call. Yeah. That must have been a deeply triggering movie for you. Well, no, because I watched it after I'd already realized I was gay after everything yeah. had happened and i felt seen better time but if i had watched that when i yeah. before coming to those realizations on my own i would have lost it um i would even say this is not for women but i would even say call me by your name I, it has like somewhat of a negative ending but it also is like a very beautiful like they have their oh i haven't seen their yeah, little that did make me cry though on the record uh me and my girlfriend are rewatching glow right now have you guys seen glow no the queer the queer relationship isn't in it isn't like uh it's not the main point of the show but it has a cute queer relationship in it um and there's also like intersectionality involved and stuff and Mm -hmm. the show is just so well made oh my god it's so good so watch that one but it's not it's not queer focused just included yeah okay so we've got glow imagine me and you sex education those Ooh, are pretty good I'm recommendations. I'm trying to think. There's, there's not a lot that weren't canceled that 
have mm. good endings. This is a, a bigger problem, I think. But Did you guys watch Luca? Have you watched Luca yet? Mm-mm. The Pixar film? Um, Luca absolutely destroyed me. And that's a oh. happy ending. And no one will say, they won't go on the record and say it's a, technically a queer relationship, but it is. Mm-hmm. So, okay. yeah. Dude, dude, you yes. will die. You have to watch Luca. You okay. have to. And okay, you have to watch Sex Education. Okay. This was a long episode. This was a long episode. Thanks for listening, everybody. Oh, yeah. Talk to you next week. (laughs) Thanks for listening. Chosen Family Podcast. Chosen Family is a Forever Dog production. Hosted by Ashley Gavin, Elena Joy, and Mac Injamin. Edited by Danny Jewell. Executive produced by Mariah Nicholas. Forever Dog Productions is Joe Cilio, Alex Ramsey, and Brett Boehm. Forever Dog.